Hello, welcome to Benama News. I'm Azmawati Azmi. We will start this edition with a quick take of what is happening at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre, the key venue for the 27th ASEAN Summit. We will now join our Bernama TV host, Gerard Ratnam, to give us the picture. Nampak? Jared Rutnam from the KL Convention Center. It's really wet outside the KL Convention Center. Uh, the President of America, Barack Obama, is currently in Kuala Lumpur. He was at Taylor's University uh, earlier this evening and he spent a lot of time with kids answering their questions and of course having a ball of a time with them. He's currently right here at the KL Convention Center, uh, to be exact, under a uh, heavily guarded KL Convention Center, holding talks with uh, Dato Sri Nadia. With regards to the TPPA, he made a comment and he said the trade deal was one of the examples of partnership and engagement between the U.S. and also countries in the region. So he also went on to say that uh, he re this represented a critical step towards a more peaceful, prosperous and uh, democratic uh, regional uh, binding. And this is what President Obama had to say earlier today. O over and above that, uh, right here in the Kuala Lumpur, it's been a very wet evening and this is because uh, uh, within Subang Jaya, from Subang Jaya to the Federal Highway, the road was closed and that caused quite a huge jam within Kuala Lumpur but everything seems to be okay at this point. Of course, we're waiting to get more news as to what's happening with regards to uh, the President of the United United States stay in Malaysia and we're definitely going to hand it to you uh, when we can right here on Bernama TV. I'm Jared Rutnam at the 27th ASEAN Summit for Bernama TV. Thank you Gerard for the updates at the 27th ASEAN Summit. Meanwhile, ASEAN is expected to post an average annual gross domestic product GDP growth of 5.6% through to 2019 on the back of implementation of the ASEAN Economic Community AEC. Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak said given the impending establishment of the AEC, he was confident that foreign direct investment in flows will continue to increase well into the future. Datuk Sri Najib commended ASEAN for producing consistent economic growth throughout the preceding decades. He said ASEAN can sustain the expansion of its respective economies, bringing prosperity and higher standards of living for all of its people. This is the ASEAN community that we need to build and we need to prosper together by being an attractive destination for businesses, investors, and to do business generally, we will create more economic opportunities and employment. And it's our shared duty to elevate the level of living standards for all in ASEAN. He said this in his keynote address at the ASEAN Business and Investment Summit 2015 on Friday. Last year, ASEAN's collective foreign direct investment stood at 136 billion US dollar, higher than that of the United States, US and China. European Union investors continued to lead in ASEAN, contributing a 21.5% share, followed by Japan 9.8% and the US 9.6%. Datuk Sri Najib also stressed the importance of public-private partnerships and the role of the private sector in driving the economy. He added, if ASEAN truly wanted to unleash the full potential and create more wealth, its private sector will be the driving force and political leaders must recognize that in a smart partnership. This summit also allows the private sector to discuss and highlight challenges, to explore new possibilities, to gain high-level insights in doing business across ASEAN and to provide access to our region's extensive network of partnership. Meanwhile, Datuk Sri Najib reiterated his commitment to address the ASEAN Business Advisory Council's ABAC proposals, which he deemed as very doable and supportive of the region's business community. 
He said among the proposals were an ASEAN travel cut and ASEAN travel lane to ease the movement of ASEAN passengers at airports within the region. This would reflect the concept of ASEAN as a community, he added. The ASEAN High Level Task Force has forwarded some 30 recommendations to the ASEAN Secretariat to strengthen the regional body to be effective and true to its people-centered vision. ASEAN Secretary-General Le Luang Min said the recommendations also proposed making ASEAN a more rules-based organization that will be more powerful in monitoring the progress of the ASEAN community set to be established at year-end. Le said implementation of the ASEAN Community 2015 and the ASEAN Community Vision 2025 will see a much bigger workload. He added strengthening the ASEAN institution will be important in ensuring it is capable of delivering commitments in the next phase of ASEAN Community Consolidation. Le said that under Malaysia's chairmanship, ASEAN had undertaken various people-centered programs that had bridged the gap among all levels of societies in the region. These include region-based television programs like Go ASEAN and the inaugural ASEAN People's Award for members of the community who have contributed to the process of ASEAN community building. Le also stressed that ASEAN was not weak as claimed by certain quarters in cross-border issues such as ensuring companies adhere to regulations and exporters having to fulfill made-in-ASEAN content. He pointed out that the establishment of the ASEAN Economic Community AEC would see a duty-free ASEAN by 2018. Le said that to ensure the success of the ASEAN community's economic pillar, the region would also focus on the elimination of non-tariff barriers to make sure that goods and services as well as investments could really move freely among ASEAN countries.